link on our website and just a little update and refresh from them. Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and start with a video that our top um, million dollar producers put together, I want to say about a month or Go ahead and do that. And let me know if you guys can't hear it. As a homeowner, as a realtor, as a service technician, game changer, culture, balance, as a sales rep, captivating, innovative, transparency, the Achosa difference. The most important thing we protect at Achosa Home Warranty is peace of mind. Peace of mind for the homeowner when something fails, we're going to be there for them. Peace of mind for the realtor that when they recommend us, we're going to stand by what we say we're going to do. And peace of mind for the whole team that we believe in what we're doing at Achosa. Customers know exactly what to expect with our seamless, easy, hassle-free claims process that it has been a game changer in my market. Our process is a tried and true process that just delivers a great claims experiences from the get-go. Our industry as a whole has experienced some gaps um, in how to deliver this great experience by allowing our clients to control their time. Um, they then get to have an experience that they've created. It's a much more pleasant way to, to be able to file a claim. As a sales rep, our customer claim experience has completely changed my life because I get to focus on selling and spending time with people and realtors because our process is so well done. As a sales professional, Achosa has given me my groove back, given me the confidence to go out into my market and be the social butterfly that I am and do exactly what I love to do with a product and a company that is gonna support me, our homeowners, and you as realtors with all of your home warranty needs. So with all forms of insurance, they all have limitations. Part of the Achosa difference is that we are very transparent about what those limitations look like. By being transparent, the homeowner has the correct expectation on how that claim is going to go. I was with a traditional home warranty company prior to, and their concerns didn't align with my concerns. Where Achosa does, we focus on the client, and that, for me personally, is important to me. That's how I built my brand, and Achosa continues to come along and help. Determining the success that it shows it really comes down to the feedback from the clients and our realtor community. When we hear all the amazing things and the amazing stories of how our, how our process plays out and have great claims experiences, that shows that we're having success. All right, so super short and sweet. Um... That was just, we led our million dollar reps to kind of talk about what their experience has been so far with working with clients, agents, um, other real estate professionals, really. Um, so that is a new video that we've been sharing with you guys, with clients, um, to kind of show what a chose is really about. Um, just a refresher, we are non-traditional, so that just means you get to choose your own contractor. We pay that contractor their retail rates. We don't order parts or equipment, so your client's home is able to get back up and running quicker rather than later. And we pay that contractor their retail rate over the phone with a credit card. Um, I've only come in contact with, I think, two contractors that don't take credit cards, and that's just because there is a added service fee on them sometimes for them to process them. We do cut checks every 48 hours. So it's no, I want to say it's no longer than two weeks to 20 days before your client or that contractor actually gets paid if they have to go that route. I don't really know what else to share besides um, it's really just important to remember that home warranties are there to help offset the cost. Um, really gone are the days where a home warranty can cover everything. Um, if you think about the average contract being $725 and a home warranty company was paying out $6,000 for a new HVAC system or part of a new HVAC system for 
every other contract, that company wouldn't be in business anymore. Um, so it's just about setting the right expectations with why we're here. I like to also talk to clients about we're a very good yin and yang with their homeowners insurance. Um, you know, homeowners insurance is going to protect them from the unexpected. And we're going to be there for when systems do eventually break down because they eventually do unless you're replacing them every couple of years to stay up to the standards. And even now, I feel like um, newer systems and appliances don't last as long. I know that when my um, washer finally kicked the bucket, I was very upset. It was very old and I knew it was reliable. Um, but those newer systems don't seem to last as long as those older ones do. That's true. Yeah. Any questions so far? Okay. Um, so with how the market's been lately, tell me what you guys have been really seeing on your end of it. I've noticed there's a slight shift, but have you guys been experiencing it um, at all? Oh, of course. Yes. Um, it, it obviously is a little bit different than it was. And maybe Rebecca and Kara, y'all can speak a little bit more, um, just with y'all's expertise and experience, but I've even noticed with my buyers that people are giving away more things, um, right now, as far as the seller. Definitely. So that's what we've noticed a lot recently is seller credits are coming back into play, whether it's a dollar amount, whether it's a percentage. Um, what's great about us is that if your client does have leftover money that they need to use or lose, it can go towards a home warranty, um, which then will give them some peace of mind in that first year. And then just depending on how much that is, how much that credit is they have left over, it can even go into a two year plan. Um, we always talk about having protection is important. We see an average of two claims per contract within 60 days of its starting. Um, that's just because some houses will experience house shock. Obviously, if I and my husband moved out of our house and it's just the two of us here and we're only using the dishwasher maybe every two weeks. Um, I also don't cook that often in my oven. Um, if a family of four moved in here, those systems and appliances are going to be used more often, um, which can cause wear and tear faster. Um, right. So it's just not to scare your homeowners like, hey, how shock is a real thing. It's more of just letting them know like it is a possibility. Um, and I always tell clients like this is no way a talk to scare you into loading your dishwasher a certain way, not to do laundry, um, not to open your refrigerator as often. It's just so that you have the right expectation going forward, because with homeownership, we do know that new responsibilities get added on, especially when you have a client that went from a renter to now a homeowner. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, we... I know I've talked about our plans before, but they they range from four seventy five all the way up to eleven hundred dollars. Um, going back to those seller credits, or um, if your buyer has been giving a given an actual credit for a home warranty, say six hundred dollars, we are able to customize a plan that can fit really any budget starting at that four seventy five, um, so that they won't lose any of that home warranty credit. Now, with that being said, if you're representing the seller, since we have been seeing credits coming mm -hmm. back from buyers upwards to $800, what you can do is you can, A, start your free listing coverage. That's really important. It doesn't cost anything for your seller, even if it doesn't transfer to the buyer, but it's $1,000 of, I like to call free money for your client to use during that listing period in case anything were to break down. Um, and they, the only real cost to them, it, like it, it would be if they filed a claim, it's just that $150 trade call fee, um, which is just different than our $100 trade call fee for our regular contracts. And that just means that they're gonna be paying the first $150 um, balance of that repair bill up into our cap and then they would end up paying the difference. But I've seen that happen before where an agent went through final walkthrough and a hot water heater decided it was done. Like it was, yep. it was over with. Um, they were able to go ahead and use that home 
that listing protection to offset that cost by $500 for their sellers, which was really great for them. Um, I also have agents send, or they'll send me or they'll call me with picker items and be like, is this something that potentially we could file a claim for? And I want to say five out of 10 times it is um, only because, you know, structural things can come up on your picker items. We're obviously not going to cover that. We won't cover um, if the front door is a little wonky. I've had that question in the past um decks masonry just ba things that a home warranty wouldn't usually cover we wouldn't cover for your listing coverage um but i still think it's great to have in place because as i said even if your client doesn't use it it doesn't cost them anything to have just in case if something does um god forbid happen yep um, um yeah. but for that listing coverage if you're seller wants to lock in a price so that when a buyer does come, instead of the buyer saying that they want a $600, $800 home warranty credit, which we've been seeing, you can lock that plan in for $475. So your seller is only paying $475 instead of an upward credit. Um, it can also set you a little bit apart as a listing agent to have that free listing coverage when you're um, in your I know the whole goal is to end up being referral based, but if you are still doing interviews for listings, then that can set you apart. Just letting them know like, Hey, I work with this company. I can get us set up on free listing coverage that can help protect you during that listing period and potentially help offset cost when it comes down to those picker items. Okay. Good. All That's right. always a good reminder for us to have. It's, I have a lot of top agents that every listing they do, it just gets listing coverage. <laughs> like yeah. they're just, they're just in the habit work. now of just sending the information over to us. Yep. Yeah. I was just going to ask, how do we go about doing that? Oh yeah. So listing coverage is a little bit different than our buyer's coverage. I don't need nearly as much information as your buyer's coverage. I just need your name, um, having your contact information already the property address and then your client's name and that's just so that if you as an agent call on a claim because you are more than welcome to during that listing period um we have a name attached to the contract with that address um but yeah super easy we just also need to know when the listing is going to go live you can put the coverage on after the listing has gone live but it is harder because it does happen if you put we just can't put listing coverage on knowing that something is wrong with the home that you're going to file a claim. Um, that is considered a small portion of insurance fraud to get any sort of warranty, just like car insurance or a car warranty, um, to knowing something is wrong, hoping to get coverage for that with it being a known pre-existing issue. Um, but obviously, if you get, I don't know, 12 hours into having your listing coverage in place and something does go wrong, always try to file a claim for it. It doesn't, don't be scared to, cause you're not going to be penalized. Your seller isn't penalized. Even if we pay out a full thousand dollars for that listing coverage, we're not going to come back at your seller for any money. Um, we just want you as an agent and your sellers to experience our process so that when they go to buy their new, ne their next home, or when you're representing a buyer next time and they ask you about home warranties, you have experience with our process. So oh. I will share my screen two more times. Um, this will be, so we, how Achosa measures um, customer experience is we do an NPS score. Um, does anybody know what an NPS score is? It's okay if you don't, because I didn't know what it was <laughs> since when I got hired and they talked about it. Um, so an NPS score is if you go to Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Target, Walmart, um, Harris Teeter, any of those places always ask you, usually at the bottom of your receipt, um, how, how likely are you to recommend this product, this place, to a uh, family member, friend, coworker. Um, and they take in those numbers and that's how they get an NPS score. Um, I don't know of any other home warranty companies that 
participate in this. We do it because it's real life feedback versus online reviews that we've all seen online reviews. Um, client, not clients, but customers are more likely to go and make a complaint against something than they are to share positive feedback. Now, working in the customer service industry, I've always been somebody that wants to go and spread positive feedback, especially if I'm very passionate about it. Um, and a lot of our customer reviews that we see online actually do get reviewed. We go back, we look at the claim, we try to figure out what happened. Um, just to ensure, because we are people, mistakes can happen. That's a very important thing to recognize, especially in the real estate community. Um, because sitting there and saying that you're perfect 24 seven is not true. Um, so we always want to make sure that everything is set to our standards and that your clients are having the service that they deserve, even when it's not an answer that they like. Um, there are good denials for claims, um, which is hard. A home warranty is there just to protect against normal wear and tear. Um, not if a HVAC system, if it hasn't been maintenance in like two, three years and a contractor comes out and they're like, no, it's really dirty. Um, this could have been prevented if it was cleaned. We're going to question whether it's a viable, eligible claim at that point, because it was preventable. Um, now there is breakdowns that happen eventually, um, but neglect isn't one of those circumstances that we would cover. Um, so back to customer service, we have been able to maintain a 9.2 out of 10. This was just released to me um, last week. We're very much involved in our customer service. We want your clients to experience the best because we know that our services reflect on you as an agent and whoever you recommend, whether it be home warranty, home inspection, um lenders any of those people your recommendations your client is always going to think back about who recommended this person to me um so we want to make sure that we make you guys look good as agents not just ourselves okay any questions so far i like to ask because I'll just keep talking. <laughs> oh, you're you're fine. I do. I don't have any questions so far. I don't see any chat questions, so I think we are good. I don't have any questions so far. So good. Okay. Um, the last thing I'll talk about is um. So normally, when people set up coverages, they just send us the information, which is perfectly fine. Um, Tina and I really don't mind putting in orders. Um, for agents that want to have their own portal access so that they can place orders your t if you use a tc your tc can also set up an account and they can keep track it's really cool um i understand it's not for everybody i've talked to a couple people um <clears throat> that are that would rather just send information which is fine um but i wanted to show you guys how to do that today as well um only because it's nice <laughs> <laughs> So first you're going to go to, hold on. First you're gonna to go to our website. Um, that is gonna be achosahw.com. Funny enough, there is only one other company named Achosa in the nation that I know of so far. And that is a clothing line in Europe somewhere. Um, so it's just important to make sure you include that HW at the end. When you get to our website, you're going to click on Real Estate Pros and hit sign up. And this is just going to prompt you for your email, your name, and then you're going to set up a password. Now, once you've put in all this information, you're going to go ahead and click this is a professional real estate account. This is just going to prompt you to select if you're a closing attorney, a realtor, a coordinator, or a technician, um, just so that we have that on file <laughs> for who the actual portal is for. Um, obviously, with your transaction coordinators, the cool thing is, is that if we know if a transaction coordinator works with multiple agents, we're able to make their account to where they can select between a list of the agents they work with. So then they're not having to input information every single time. Well, Once you oh, sorry. 
Oh, I was just saying that's good. That's, that's definitely handy. So once you get into your account, you're going to come up to a screen like this. Obviously, my person's name is going to be Joe Doe this morning. Um, and it's going to give you a bunch of cool things you can look at from quotations, um, home warranties that you've ordered, invoices or bills, especially if you're doing a, if you're gifting a home warranty as a closing gift, which we always feel like is generous, um, you're able to go in and pay for them yourselves without having to reach back out to us to get a secure link for payment. To set up an order, you're going to hit order now. And hold on. Oh my gosh, it kicked me out. All right, we're going to make a new account because. <laughs> That one is going to fight me. I let's say if somebody else took that email already. <laughs> so what you're going to do is go ahead and hit order now. And this is the same information that we ask you guys for when we set up your policies. Um, you just need to put in the street address. I'm going to put Williamsburg because I grew up there and I just know, I already magically know that zip code off the top of my head. Um, you're going to click which state. <clears throat> so any of these um, states that we're licensed in, you guys, we can help service you. Like there's obviously local reps for all of these areas, but you're always welcome to use Tina or I to help with any clients that you may have or any referrals that you may outbase to these other states. This is where you can select your type of coverage. So that seller to buyer coverage, that's going to be, you can set up your own listing coverage, of course, um, or you can do it through Tina or I, but that will just give you, you can set that up here. If it's just regular coverage that you're setting up for your client, like they have a credit or they want to order one, you can just hit buyer as the only coverage. It's important to choose which type of property it is because the prices are different. Like our townhome slash condos are $50 cheaper than our single family home plans. And then obviously your information is going to be here as the agent. Once you select the product, or once you have the state up here, you'll be able to select whatever product you want to do and the term for the contract. Going back into those credits, as I, I like to use $600 as a general example, you can always do the 575 plan along with the conserve. Um, the conserve and the conserve plus give your clients um, $200 or $400 extra towards energy efficient replacements. So it's in for to make sure that your client uses that full, you know, $600 credit, give them that little bit of extra coverage. You would go ahead and put their name here, email, phone number. Um, we always like to ask for that so that we can better service your client when it comes to claims and when it comes to renewal time. And if the client is going to be purchasing an investment property and wants a home warranty for it, you'd obviously go ahead and hit, yes, it's a rental property. Now this will go ahead and add on our 180 non-owner occupied fee. That is just because we do see a higher amount of claims for um, rental properties than we do for our regular homeowners. So since we're, since we don't want to penalize our normal homeowners, um, we just have that add on option. If they're, <clears throat> if there is a closing agent that you want a copy of the confirmation sent to, you can go ahead and put their names here. And if you have a promo code or a discount code from Tina or I, you'd put that here as well.
it's important just to remember that if you do a promo code, you have to have the client's email and phone number in here for it to process. Once you hit submit order, it's just like when you submit a regular order with us, you'll get a confirmation um, of the home warranty and then your client, if their email is in there, they'll get a copy and that closing agent if you've included them as well. Okay. That's actually, I, I like that. I like that it can be automated and we can kind of see everything right there. <laughs> yeah. And so going back to your home screen of it, you can see every home warranty you've placed, whether they've been paid or not. Um, of course, we can always answer those questions for you as well. But just for anybody that's just like, I, I want to stay in my bubble and handle everything myself, um, that's always an option for them. Well, that is all I was going to talk about today. Um, <laughs> okay. I want to say short and sweet, but it didn't feel short and sweet. I know home warranties aren't a super interesting topic, but they are important for your client. I know as we're getting further into generations that are buying, especially mine in particular, um, savings accounts are not a thing until our parents tell us that we need to have a savings account. <laughs> so having having an extra three, four thousand dollars set aside for if like so me personally, I have money set aside for my bills, obviously, just in case anything were to happen. Um, but not everybody has money set aside for a new HVAC system, a new hot water heater, even a new refrigerator that can definitely cause some panic. Um, yeah. And it's not that clients buy homes that are lemons, as I mentioned earlier, it's just it's part of homeownership. And that can be a true shock to them, especially your first time homeowners or um, going from renting to um, owning their own home as well. Okay. Yep, no, I think it's very important because most people are not prepared when they're first time home buyers of what can go wrong. So <laughs> it's definitely, well, and it's just, I've had a couple of people I've talked to and they're like, I bought this home and everything seems to be breaking at once. And it's, it's hard and it sucks, but it does happen. Um, so just know that they have that extra protection there, that extra, um, help to offset those costs is just important. I do know some people are like, no, I do way better saving my money and putting into an account and waiting for it later. Um, but it's just a conversation you always wanna have. I, me and Tina are always happy to talk to your clients for you with everything that you guys are already juggling. We don't think you should be adding, being a home warranty expert to that plate. That's just way too much to ask. So, what you can do is you could do an email introduction, a text introduction, or you can give the client our phone number and just be like, hey, this is the one of the companies I recommend. Call, ask questions. They'll be able to help you um, just so that you know that you've created that connection. So after closing's done, they were educated with what was able to be offered. Yep. Awesome. Great. Thank you. All righty. Well, that, that's everything. That's everything I have planned for today. <laughs> that it's perfect. You know, it was a lot of good information. Rebecca, did you have any questions at all for Maddie? I didn't. I love to see the portal, although admittedly, I've always loved to literally call Tina directly, but I need to stop doing that. Um, but I, I love the breakdown of the different packages that you guys offer and the add-ons. Um and we've come a really long way in this business and I love it. So no, this is great. And I always encourage my sellers to um, do the seller coverage. It just makes so much sense, mm -hmm. especially on a vacant property. Um, and then the other, just in reference to the comment you made, especially with new home buyers not being prepared for what's going to be out of pocket and everything's going to break. I always tell my clients um, two things. You're going to have something break on you within the first 30 to 60 days in the property. I guarantee it. So be prepared, but also be prepared to spend between like one and 3% of the purchase price on your home per year so that I get it into their head about you need to put money aside to care for the conditions of your home. So hearing that also from you is good. Yep. That's it is very important. It, yeah. It's very, um, at least when we moved into our house, I was like, oh my gosh, we finally have our own space. And then like 
hot water heater died within literally, I think it was two months. And I was like, oh no, yeah. <laughs> more responsibilities. What is this? Yep. That happened to me with my house that we were in it for two weeks and the hot water tank burst. Yep. That's what happened to ours. It was, um, the relieve pipe was not yeah. how it should have yeah. been. Um, but also the home had, hadn't had anybody in it for, I think a year. Mm. Um, cause the guy did like a full, he had a renter in it for, I think it was like 21 years. Um, and she eventually had to move out and live with her daughter for health reasons. So when he came in, he was like, I had to gut everything <laughs> and just wow. replace. Um, but I like the, um, budgeting of saying one to 3% for what you paid for your home. Um, that definitely gives, I feel that would definitely give clients an idea of like, okay, so just because I bought this doesn't mean that taking care of it ends. Um, especially yes. with how the market was before when people were paying fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars over appraisal value. Mm -hmm. That home didn't know that it appraised or it got purchased for more money. Like the appliances <laughs> don't know. Um <laughs> So when things do did start breaking down, even though they were paying more for homes, which that's what the market was, and that's fine, um, it doesn't mean that it stops things from eventually breaking down or there being any issues, which sucks, but it's true. That's yep. True. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thanks for uh, joining us, Rebecca. Yeah. I appreciate it very much. Always love seeing you on here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Maddie. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you today coming in. Oh yeah, of course. And like I said, um, it will be a good recording to watch only because of the extra video. And then the realtor porter, we're, we're trying to get it more out there. We didn't notice that we weren't really talking about it until um, one of our reps was like, oh, my agents love our portal. And I was like, I never talk about our portal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but talking about it. <laughs> definitely good to know that it's there because you know a lot of the time we're doing the admin type stuff at night, you know, in the middle of the night, and just just to have that option to get things done and out of the way and not have to wait for an email the next day or anything like that. Yeah, no, definitely. Yep. So very very nice. Thank you again. Definitely enjoy the rest of your week, and I'm sure we will be talking to you very soon. Yeah. I believe for our meeting, right? <laughs> Yep. So take care. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.